Um, I was first introduced to Father Mark as a freshman. Um, I remember first meeting Kim uh, actually during my freshman overnight. Um, he was at that time in a week that's kind of filled with chaos. Um, I remember uh, a brief moment I had to speak with Father Mark and just how comforting he was to speak with, um, even in that time of distress of, of the freshman overnight. Um, beyond that experience, um, I didn't really come into too much contact with Father Mark until my freshman year of backpacking. Uh, and through the course of our, our daily captain's meetings, um, I was able to uh, listen to Far Father Mark and see how he conducted his affairs and his business. Uh, one thing that was immediately um, appealing about him was the way that he delivered information. Um, he was always very uh, a v a excellent communicator um, and he made information very accessible to the people he was instructing, um, which to me tells me that he really understood his audience, uh, which a great teacher does. I mean, Father Mark is certainly a great teacher. Um, so my first encounters with Father Mark were through backpacking. Um, and, and on a couple occasions I've had, um, you know, over the years as a student, uh, to come up here through backpacking and spend time with Father Mark. Um, you know, I began to get a sense of how intelligent Father Mark was, as he would tell me all random facts about uh, the galaxy and the universe, um, and which star was going to be the North Star in another two million years, um, and all kinds of, of useful information <laughs> that I'm sure I've forgotten more than half of what he's told me at this point. Um, my, uh, my next really kind of interaction with Father Mark was as a group leader, um, as Father Mark did um, create the group system um, that we take so much pride in. Um, Father Mark, again, uh, is a master at, at advising, teaching, instructing um, young leaders. And uh, his, his real secret, though, is that he, he gives advice in such a grandfatherly, gentle way that you never feel like he's telling you what to do. Um, yet you always feel like he's guiding you in a caring way and in, in the right direction, and he'll give you support if, in fact, your, your own decision uh, turns out in demise. <laughs> Um, so those are uh, really kind of the two areas where I first got to know Father Mark. Oh, as an adult, um, getting to know Father Mark was even more rewarding. Um, for one, uh, he was always able to offer um, spiritual advice, um, you know, that you could always tell was genuine and heartfelt. And whenever um, you look at, at a person uh, that you know had a, had a spiritual calling um, and answered that calling, um, you could see certainly that that person was Father Mark. Um, you could tell every, every word that comes out of his mouth, every action um, is done in true genuine care and in a true Christian faith. Um, you know, probably some of my best times with Father Mark have been on the trail as well, um, watching the times when he gets to be here, um, not as a leader of the project, but as a guest. You know, not that he's ever a guest on this project. He'll never be a guest on this project. Um, but just as a person coming out to enjoy uh, for once, not having any true work responsibilities and just coming out and being able to enjoy the kids. Um, and it's really, you know, leaping from rock to rock and, and walking in the woods and sleeping in the thunderstorms with Father Mark over the years um, that I re you really get to see how joyful his soul can be when he gets to be out here um, and be in the presence of, of kids that, um, whose lives he's led for generations and generations and generations and provided this great opportunity to you could see the, the tremendous joy that brings to his life. Um, and that, without a doubt, is, uh, is probably some of the best moments I've ever shared with Father Mark. Uh, um, I'll just say a closing statement. I would say, without a doubt, um, Father Mark has one, been one of the most influential men in my life outside of my own father and my own grandfather. Um, his personality does remind me of, of a grandfather. He's, he has tremendous patience. Um, He's always willing to give instruction uh, and, and give it in a caring, uh, genuine manner. Um, he's always willing, willing to share his talents and his interests with you, uh, whether it be um, going on the the, uh, the roof of the old building and looking at and stargazing uh, through the telescope, um, or going through a walk in the woods um, and learning diff the different intricacies of camping and backpacking and different ways to tie your shoelaces to handling a knife. Um, all the, the, that uh, macho stuff that we pride ourselves on as men. Um, you know, Father Mark really is a consummate man and gentleman. Um, and he's been certainly uh, somebody that I've tried to emulate my life after um, in terms of how he interacts with students, um, instructs the classroom. Um, 
and, and more importantly, leads people. Um, and, and his, the exposure he's given me through the backpacking project, um, I think, has been one of the greatest gifts that I've received from him. Um, this, without a doubt, is one of the, my favorite things that I do in my life. Um, it's something that I'm always so, so glad to be able to give back to students, and it's always one of my most joyful parts of the year when backpacking comes around. Um, so for that, I'm extremely grateful. Um, Father Mark, I'll always love him. Um, and he'll always be a part of, of who I am, and his lessons will always, always carry on as, as long as I have people to teach him to. So, Father Mark, thank you very much. Love you very much. You always be the man. <laughs>